Hello, my name is Stephen Newman, and this is the third video in the video series America, Rome Before the Downfall. This video covers Congress and why Congress is a sham institution and they don't give a crap about you. And the entire, the whole thing's a sham. All of Congress is a sham, you know. And before I start with going on about Congress, I like to say a few things. First of all, I like to say I think both parties are equally corrupt. Second of all, I would like to say both parties spend so much time, and all people on both sides of these spend so much time fighting over the issue that nobody's listening to anybody. Hello, people. How can we solve problems if we don't listen to each other? The whole point of this, of this video series is to encourage you, the individual, to get up off your ass and do something about the problems affecting this country because you do have the power. One man can make a difference. Remember, these are your elected officials. You voted for them. You are paying them. You have the power over them. That's what it says in the Constitution. You know, ever since 9-11, everyone get up, gave up their freedom because of fear. And I understand why people did it. Everyone was afraid. Osama bin Laden been afraid. Something unprecedented didn't happen. Everyone gave up their freedom in the name of security and protection. And now here we are. 13 years later and the democracy we live in this is and this is the real truth is an illusion it doesn't exist it's pretend it's a sham okay and the only way we can save this country and make the constitution and the declaration of independence and the words and the thoughts and the deeds of our forefathers and our founding our founding fathers mean something again is if we rise up and we do something but with our voices with the pen with the sword with with action nonviolent action and deed these are the powerful weapons of change and that's why I'm doing this video series, because I'm doing something. Because if you sit there on your ass, you're just as guilty as the evil men because you are letting evil flourish. Now, with that said, let's look at Congress. First of all, the congressmen don't even have to read the laws. They get paid a six, seven figure salary and they don't even have to show up. They don't even have to read the laws. And any other company in America, where would that be allowed? And Congress has voted multiple times to raise their own salary, but not the salary of the average American worker. And everybody says here, oh, well, if you raise the salary of the average American worker, product prices will go up. And I say to you, okay, fine. That's a fair argument. Let's look at a historical example. Henry Ford, when he first produced the Model T, paid his workers $5 a day. And these are facts. Again, I encourage you, the viewer, to look up facts for yourself. $5 a day, a livable wage. He was one of the first people to do that, $5 a day. And yet the price of his car was still affordable. It didn't go up at all. It didn't skyrocket. And these are historical facts you can verify for yourself. So that argument that people say is null and void. And we have historical precedent showing the fact that it's null and void. So you can and historical precedent supports this, raise minimum wages and still sell affordable products at affordable prices. Okay? But your congressmen don't give a shit about you. They only give a shit about themselves. They're so busy arguing all the time. You know, God gave us two ears and one mouth and all they're doing is yeah, 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 and they're blaming each other and stuff. How is that getting shit done? When was the last time you heard a congressman speak about the issues in the community? When was the last thing you heard a congressman try to solve the issues? All they do is argue and fight like children. You know, it used to be that you would do your community service, you would reach a certain age, you would be considered an elder, a wise man in the community, and then you would go to Congress. And this is a historical fact. This is back in like the 1700s, okay? This is a historical fact. You can look it up. And then you would be like this old wise man and then you would serve in Congress to advise the people. We, should, we need to go back to that system. 
We have a bunch of fucking lawyers running our country, and look where it's gotten us. We have massive debt, an overstretched military, underemployment, and we are, and our society is on the brink of collapse. We need to do something. We need to change things and change things now. We need to get rid of all of them and put in old wise people in a balanced system of educated people and the common man because these are rich elite people making seven, eight, six figures a year. Is that a Congress of the people, for the people, by the people? People are making six, seven figures a year. Does the average man make six, seven figures a year? I don't fucking think so. You all need to wake up and see the reality. Your Congress is nothing but bloated and corrupt. And they get paid for it. They get paid to sit on their ass and go yay or nay. After all this legalese documentation, how does that help the American public? That just creates more American red tape. That just creates red tape everywhere. Why can't we simplify things? Why can't we put these legal documents in English so the average man can understand it and participate in their government? You cannot participate in your government because all the laws are 20,000 pages in legalese. How the fuck can you participate? And they do this on purpose so you can't participate and you remain ignorant. And that's the biggest secret. And you have to free yourself and start questioning and start demanding to see these laws and see these things in plain, simple English. Remember, our elected officials work for us, the public. We pay them through our fucking taxes. So I challenge you, the viewer, check my facts and get up off your ass and do something. Don't do anything negative. Do something positive through deed. Make another video. Think for yourself. Question things. Have to have in. Have thoughtful, meaningful discussions. When was the last time something thoughtful, meaningful was put on television and people had a thoughtful, meaningful discussion on the news or amongst their friends? Wake up. Unplug yourselves. Free yourselves from the cave. That's from Plato's Allegory of the Cave. It's in the Republic. It's a great book. I recommend you look it up. On that note, I say goodnight. And I thank you for watching all these videos and this video in particular.